Hello everyone! In this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up the Kohia GUI I with Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. The purpose of set up Kohia GUI is for us to create our own LoRa model. So, in this series of videos about Kohia GUI and SDXL, we are going through from setup and LoRa model training in the upcoming video. So we are need to train our own LoRa model. These new concepts from Stable Diffusion can be applied on almost anything. You can create a fictional characters, real life people, facial expressions, art styles, props like weapons, poses, objects, and more. As we have discussed in the previous video comment section, yes, Laura should be to way to go if you want to create your digital model in Instagram or so. So let's get started. First, we go to Kohia GUI GitHub page. Link are provided in the video description. We're going to scroll down to the installation section. For Windows installation, you must install Python, GIT, and Visual Studio before you start download Kohia GUI files. After install all pre-required software, we can start on the command prompt screen. Simply type CMD in Windows search bar. I prefer create a folder before execute any command. I created Kohia underscore SSS folder in my stable diffusion main folder, so it will be easier for me to manage in the future. Then you can start cloning the repo from GitHub. It should take very short time. Now run the setup.bat script to run the first time setup for Koya Trainer. So in the text prompt menu, we choose one for install Koya SS GUI, then select two for Torch 2 for Stable Diffusion XL. Now sit back and let it run until you see the text prompt menu again. Once it's done, you can choose 5 to start Kohia GUI. Remember, when you run this Kohia Trainer next time, you don't need to run all this setup again. Simply go to the Kohia folder and find the GUI.bat and execute it. Just like Automatic 11.11, it will show you a link in the command prompt after it loads successfully. Copy the local URL, paste into your web browser and you can start partying with it. There you have it, the Kohia GUI is loaded. Now for SDXL 1.0 as the LoRa training base model, you will have to configure the source model differently. Select custom in model quick pick, then paste the file path of your SDXL in pre-trained model name or path and select SDXL checkbox. The SDXL model path are located in your local PC. You have to download it if you haven't did that yet. Again, SDXL 1.0, Download link the video description below. Now basically we are all set. So guys, prepare your Koya SS guy setup after this video and we will have a part 2 video on how to train SDXL LoRa model with Koya SS. Hello guys, welcome back to the part 2 of SDXL LoRa training guide. In this video, we're going to continue with Stable Diffusion LoRa training series for SDXL. We are going to dataset creation and process the LoRa model generation via Koya SS as we have shown the installation of Kohia SS in local computer and remotely with Google Colabs in the previous videos. You can check out those videos in our channel. Without further ado, let's get started. I will use Instagram AI girl photos for this tutorial for demo purpose. And yes, even this IG girl are created by AI. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to use Google Chrome extension to download photo to save my time. The Chrome extension called Mass Downloader for Instagram link in the video description if you want to try out this. By using this Chrome extension, I am going to the Instagram profile page. Click the purple icon of the mass downloader and select Download Selected Posts option. Then, I'm going to select photos that are going to use for LoRa training soon. This time, I am training a character LoRa and I recommend to have 20 photos of the character. Other objects or style, 10 photos are good enough. 
Remember, get photos that the face is clear in pictures and difference angle difference outfit for AI to learn better of the character. For this tutorial, I'm using 20 photos of this AI girl for Laura training. Now we are going to resize our photos to 1024 by 1024 pixels. By doing this, we use Burmy.net to bulk crop and resize photos in a short time. Drag and drop those photos into the panel, let it upload to Burm. Once it upload complete, we can check each photo previews. Relocate the focus area of those photos to ensure the character face appears on each photo. After all preview images are done, click Save as Zip to download all edit photos in zip file. Now I have the zip file, and I extract it to the subfolder. I named it Source. Check the resized images. Looks good. Now we head over to Kohia SS that we installed previously. Click the GUI bat file to execute the program. Once the BAT file execute, command prompt appear. Wait it load up the program and setting. Copy the local IP address URL to web browser. There, you can see the Koya web UI. Next, we will need to create captions for each of the images we just resized and save it in text file for each images accordingly. The good thing is that we don't have to create each text file manually now. There are a utility tool we can use to generate each text files automatically. First, head over to Utilities, then Captioning tab. I'm going to use Blip Captioning for this demo. You can try other captioning method as you prefer. Now select the image folder to caption. This is the folder that we unzip those resized images previously. Other options, just leave it as it is. Click the caption images button once you are ready. As you will see, the image folder of your resized image and each image pair with a text file. These text files are the Koya utility tool help us to generate with caption for each image. Now leave all text file name as it is. Do not rename it. You can edit those captions if you want to. Now we have to create file structure for the LoRa trainer to begin. Again, there's a tool for this, so you don't have to do it manually. Head over to LoRa tab, tools, and then deprecated. When you see the Dream Booth LoRa folder preparation, this is the right place to start. Now fill in the data we need to generate file structure for the LoRa trainer. Instance prompt, I'm going to use Mariah. Because it is the name of the AI girl in Instagram, it will be easier for me to remember. Class prompt, I'm use person for this training. Now select the training images folder path and destination training directory. The number of repeats, I will just leave it as 40. Regularization images, I don't need it for this Laura model creation since my images are good enough. Now in the destination training directory, you'll see new folders created. The IMG folder, you can see the images and captions reorganized for you in the class named folder. That is for the Laura trainer to recognize, so don't touch anything in here. Finally, it's the training time. Go to Laura tab in Kohia Web UI, select training. Now config everything before we start training. Begin in source model. We are going to need SDXL 1.0 base model. The model quick pick menu do not have SDXL yet. So we choose custom and select the file path of your SDXL 1.0 base model file. If you still have not downloaded the base model yet, Dude, go get it now. Then, the model checkbox select SDXL. Next, go to the folder setting. Fill in the folder path as the utility help us to create folder structure previously. For model output name, I just put the AI girl name on there again. Lastly, we go to parameter setting. Now, this is a very important part. Each computer hardware a difference and each LoRa models a difference. So there are not exact answer for this. You have to test those numbers according to your LoRa model, how detailly you want, what kind of quality are you looking for. For Epoch, I am using 10 for the 20 images that I am training. Do not set too much if you have just 10 or 15 photos. Overtrain your model, it will not have good result. I am using FP16 for both mixed precision and save precision for this demo. Now, learning rate is important. So far, I tested 0.0003 to 0.0004 are suitable character LoRa model and 0.0001 to 0.0002 sweet for style objects LoRa. You can test that as well. 
For Optimizer Extra arguments, I'm going to put this in the video description below. You can try these arguments, or you can try on your own, but the arguments here works on my computer. Max resolution, we are going to use 1024 times 1024. As SDXL image size, you can try 768 times 768 if your computer has less processing power. The text encoder learning rate and unit learning rate just follow the same number as the previously set in learning rate above. And other options I'm just leave it as default here. Then we go to advanced tab. Here all I do is check the gradient, checkpointing checkbox, and don't upscale bucket resolution. I like to have training state if you have a little more storage space, you can do that as well. And you that's all we need to config. Let's start training. So we are going to have 4,000 training steps have to go through based on our number of images and epoch that I set previously. Now all we're going to do is wait. If there's any error message, copy it and Google it. Because difference hardware, different setting. Don't paste your error message in the comment section and ask me how. After generated all those safe tensors files, you'll have 10 of it. I moved the last trained safe tensors files to stable diffusion, so the nine remain here. And let's test our LoRa. For using your LoRa model, just copy the safe tensors file to the stable diffusion LoRa folder. Now I'm using automatic 1111 here. You can do it in comfy UI or whatever you have to stable diffusion XL. Pretty beautiful bride, huh? Okay, let's create more and see. Okay, too much sampling steps this time. Looks like a mid-age woman. Let's change the setting and add more prompt. Come on, give me a beautiful bride. Um, it's close, but the face still needs some improvement. The body figure looks like a Japanese girl. Oh yes, I forgot the sampling steps adjustment. Let's try 25. Ooh, I can see something better from the processing. Um, I'm still not satisfied with the face. The mouth is looks like Joker. Come on. This is much better. Do you want a bride like that? Okay, the face is consistent and looks balanced now. So what do you guys think? Leave your comment below and give me a thumbs up for this long hours of generation for this demo. Subscribe our channel if you want to learn more tips and tricks with stable diffusion and AI tools. Until then, I'm heading to sleep now. See you in the next video.